All right, so this is not a tutorial uh, like you may have been been thinking, but I did a repair on this a while ago. It was, um, geez, almost 50,000 miles ago, and everything's been fine since. Um, let's say 2007 Silverado uh, LTZ. Um, that doesn't really matter. They're mostly all the same until you get into the Z71s, um, and the transmissions are a little different. Um, but so what was happening on this is get under here. Uh, so again, this was a while ago. This has been this has been uh, repaired for a while now. Um, but so what was happening, right? Try to get rid of the glare. So this is the rear diff here. So on the highway, especially, I would notice a um, um, a howl, and it would be. Um, really bad upon deacceleration. So I'd be doing like 60, 65, 70, I'd let off the gas a little bit and then you'd hear this really bad howl. Um, and you could hear it while you were accelerating too a little bit, but it was mostly noticeable um, when you let off the gas. I didn't really think anything of it for a while. Um, you know, it got worse and worse and worse. And what it was, <clears throat> was this pinion bearing in here. I'm trying to get rid of the glare for you. Let me go around to the other end after this but inside the diff here is a bearing right and the easiest way to check is to just if, grab this and shake it right and just like any other bearing that goes back wheel bearing if you shake it you're gonna have play right now there's no play um, that is the simplest way to check mine actually um, there was no play um, but I still had a feeling that that's where it was coming from tires were good and when you do have hollow, you, you got to check for the, you know, the uh, the normal stuff, scalloping in the tires, uh, wheel bearings, all that stuff. That stuff's easy enough to check. Mine all checked out, so that's why I, I went to uh, the diff here. So like I said, this was tight, but I still had a feeling it was the the bearing inside here, right here. There's a bearing here, and then you got a bearing um, inside on this side and on the other side. So if I go back to the rear here, uh, back here. Simple enough. Um, I think the bearing costed 15 bucks. It did take about six hours to do. Pull this cover off. Um, inside here, you got the ring gear. Um, and then there's a. Uh, I won't go through the procedure or whatever. Um, if you can find a procedure to, di to disassemble the differential on a Silverado, it's simple enough. Um, but everything, anyway, everything came out. And, uh, and then the pinion bearing, you bang it out from the front, press the new one in, simple enough. Um, and sure enough, that, that was it, solved the problem. Um, when I got the bearing out, it was intact, but it was, um, but it was actually egg-shaped. So uh, that's something to check for if you have a howl.